been five years since I've begun this battle. For iguanas, their strength are in numbers. It's breeding season. If we don't act now, there could be dire consequences. I've got a catch pole, air rifles, and traps. But it's gonna take an army for this battle. You are watching The Iguana Man. Whoa, holy smokes. Look how he just climbs up the tree like a dog. Dogs don't climb trees. He just jumped up there like a bear. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Whoa. Uh, You got it around his jaws. Perfect. Now we got a double snare on him, y'all. Be careful. Oh, oh shoot. You got him. You got him. You're not going away. Very alpha. He's huge. Very alpha for real. Look at the size of his jaws. Those things are giant. <laughs> Let's take this bad boy out. Nice. Any guesses? Uh, okay, zero, three, two, one. Not that many places in the world that you can come and see and capture these creatures in the wild, yep. except here in South Florida. Okay. Let's walk by Karen after Guys, we got a big fatty iguana in the tree right there. Looks like the little man. Yeah, you're hugging the tree like a swan. Any other questions for you, buddy? Whoa! Oh. There he is. He got us another bad iguana. Ooh, ooh, nice. Good grab, yeah. All right, guys, check out the colors of this iguana real quick. It's got that nice pine green coloration going on, along with like that kind of forest brown, kind of brown accents. Uh, on the tail, look at the tail, how it's brown. And look, the pine green right there. Perfect camouflage with that tree in that shadowy spot. So these animals, they have look, impeccable camo. It's a little bull male, a little male. Mm -hmm. Nice, 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 all right. Okay. Another one in the bag. Let's go see if we can catch another one, bud. Well, another bag. Got you, buddy. Uh -huh. Got us oh, wow. Oh, my whoa. God. Oh, whoa. whoa. Did you see that? Jumping hand on the side. Oh, walk out. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Did you see that? It was bouncing up yeah, and down like that? Yeah, bouncing just jumping. Like a jackrabbit, dude. He was like breakdancing. That looks like a little female. Yeah, another female. All right, let's keep on moving. Let's see if we can catch some more. You know, this is being hunted. I, I, I love how they stand up and walk like that. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Don't go yet. He just jumped up there like a bear. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Whoa. Back, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. There he is. So another cool, interesting fact that iguanas, they actually have to move their own suspension in their bodies, which will allow them to withstand falls up to 40 feet in the air. So that right there feels like nothing to him, him dropping. Yeah. They got really light bones. And like I said, internally, they have a suspension system. Good job, bud. Yeah, he's way bigger than I thought. I thought he was. I know. I thought he was a little dinky. Little. Yeah, he's he's pretty he's, decent. His female ran away. The female ran. Yeah. Wow, look at that. You want to take him out? Yeah, let's bag him. You're coming with us, buddy. A couple hey. questions. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your friend the Iguana Man. I'm with my friend Dylan. Right now, we're trying to catch some iguanas. We're in an area where there's an iguana out here. His name is Speed Bump. We're gonna try to catch him. The reason they call him Speed Bump is because he's big, 
bright and orange, just like a speed bump. Ain't that right, dude? Yeah, he broke 80 pound test. And he's really strong. He broke 80 pound test. So they, they, they called me out here. Me and Dylan, we're going to go see him. We're going to go see him. For real, look at the size of his jaws. Those things are giant. <laughs> Let's take this bad boy up. Nice, nice. I know he's not done fighting yet. Wait, Daddy, can we take this thing up? But well, we got him, guys. Real Where quick, check out the size of this iguana that we just caught. Look, this side is here. This is by far the biggest one we caught all day today, yeah, huh? For sure. It's huge. Does anybody have a scale? Do you have a scale with y'all or not? No, I don't think I do. Okay. I like to weigh this guy. I think he's about a good, maybe 13 pounds. Let's go out the house. Wait, you wanna, let's take him up and bring him back to the house. Yep, let's put him in the bag and then we're gonna see if we can try to weigh him. Wait, where's your cake? He's huge. Hey guys, so you guys seen it right there, what I did. So I was, I was talking with the team about a strategy. They're like, he's gonna bail, he's gonna bail. I'm like, yeah, he probably is. But let me walk along this fence line and see if I can kind of get him confused a little bit. Um, that's exactly what we did. And as you guys can see, the tactic worked. He did not want to go in the water. He was way too comfortable getting sunlight. And I blocked up his escape route, which is that hole right there. Look at that massive hole. Dang, so he's living under that. Look at that. Wow. Wow, check out where he's living at, guys. He's living underneath that, that slab of concrete. Jeez. Wow. This is a huge... Now guys, if you guys were to get bit by an iguana of this caliber with those jaws, you can just kiss your hand goodbye. Ain't that right, bud? Yep. It's massive. Look at this thing. Wow. Jaw. Okay, we got him. That's a big puppy right there. That's a big, big puppy. Is, is the camera doing it justice or not? Scoop. Huge. Huge. We definitely want to get a measurement of this guy, the yeah. length and the weight. We got Stay tuned for that. We're going to go back to the house right now and see how much this yes. big alpha iguana weighs. Let's go. You're coming with us, buddy. A couple of questions. Look at that. Can you see his face? Dude, that's so funny. Look at that right there. I'm taking this thing. Hey, if that isn't a mature iguana, I don't know what it is right Me there. Me neither. Full maturity. This is the big one we were looking for all day, dude. Yep. The big alpha. Put in the work, put in the hours too. Yep, we put in the work and the hours and we finally about to put them in the bag. Yep. All right, y'all, hey, we got this scale right here. It's digital, it's Rapala. It's got 25 pound max. Uh, let me see, is that a good area to hold yeah. him now? We're gonna put it right here, right here. All right, so hold on. The scale is at zero. Yeah. Any 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 bets, any guesses? Uh, 14. 14, what, about, what about you, bud? Say about about 12 and a half. Okay, I'm just gonna say 13. 13 so 12, 13, 14. 14. You ready? Yeah. Okay, zero, three, two, one. 13, 12. Uh oh. Let go of the tail. Let go of the tail. Let go of the tail. It's okay. 13. About 13. Woo. 13 pounds, y'all. Wow. 13 pounds. Wait, do you have more tape? 
of pure iguana muscle. Oh, those are still there. That's still good. Wow. Hey, y'all seeing it right there, y'all. 13, over 13 pounds. I mean, anything over 10 pounds is considered a monster. I mean, to have 13 pounds, think about it for a second. That's an extra 30% heavier than 10 pounds. It's massive. Massive. Look at the jaws uh, on this. Big boys, Check it out. Look at the jaws. Wow. To see an iguana like this, even in captivity, is a rare specimen, yet alone in the wild. A 13 pound iguana. There's not that many places in the world that you can come and see and capture these creatures in the wild, yep. except here in South Florida. Yo, I want to give a special thanks to my guest Dylan for inviting me out today and putting me on a monster iguana. Yeah, we got another monster over there, so. We do got another monster. Yeah, we got two over there. So let's There's put this two. guy in the bag and let's go see if we can catch another monster iguana. Woo. Wow. Like All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get the measurement. Six, sixty six and a six and a half. So he's five, one, two, five. He's five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Solid. Solid unit. Yeah. Massive. Look at this boy. He's a massive iguana. Huge. Hey, drop the drop a comment. What's the biggest iguana you ever caught? As you can see, we just caught a thirteen pounder together, me and Dylan, and we're going after a twenty pounder. So. Drop some spots if you know if there's any big iguanas and maybe we'll come out there and see if we can catch them.